Hi, it's Tarot Therapy. This is Sam. August 2018. Love scope, love reading, life reading. Call it what you want. It's a message from my cards and my energies to your energy. If this resonates, great. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe. You know, I don't have to do this and be an astrologer because some people start complaining like, why don't you know all the signs? I mean, I know the signs and what they're about. Why don't you know with what goes with what? It's just like, because I don't feel that every person's sign is really them. Okay, like me, I can sometimes be kind of like a Libra. And that's one of the signs that's in my um, house of signs. So I don't believe that anybody here who's listening, it has to be exactly to everybody. It's not tailored exactly for you unless you come and get like a personal reading from me, then I can tailor it, you know, but these are general readings and sometimes life comes out, sometimes love, sometimes family. And the message is mainly my goal to get love, love, love. Okay. But sometimes something else pops out and I, I got to tell you guys, Hey, this is what it says. Okay. So we are on Aquarius and then from there, we're going to go on to our next three signs. So here we go. Aquarius. I'm seeing some issues here. Um, looks like you're dealing with somebody who's like, kind of like, same thing with the previous read. It's kind of funny. Um, it seems like you're dealing with someone who's kind of keeping you around. Like, um, you know, they keep you hanging on. They keep, they know what to say and they walk away and then they manipulate back with words and there you are again, all hanging on every last word that they say. And I see like you, some of you might have children with this person and if you do, um, this person may try to use your kids as leverage um, in order to when you can see them or in order to when um, they can see them. So this could be you doing this to somebody or someone doing this to you, like holding your kids hostage or leverage or uh, using them as leverage um, against one of your partners here. Okay. You can't do that you can't do that it says here like you you know if it's coming towards you or if it's if you're doing it it needs to stop because you guys are not hurting each other you guys think that you are but you're actually hurting your own kids and in these cards is saying here like yeah maybe your relationship didn't work out but your kids are still a part of both of you so this is more like a family card like saying this man might have you know come in out of your life or this female may have come in out of your life and then leaves you with the kid or brings the kid around like every three six weeks or three six months no you need to start like hey what are my rights as a mom if he has the children what are my rights as a father if she has the children or the child so you guys need to see here what what is going on with this whole yin yang back and forth yo yo relationship that they're putting you and your children in? Okay, and I'm just seeing here like someone may say, "Oh, I want to take the baby away from you. I I have more money than you. Oh, don't let that shit scare you. Don't. A lot of it is talk. A lot of it is you know what? Um, I know how to yell and scream and act like I know what I'm talking about, but really it ain't shit. I'm gonna be honest. Sorry I curse, but it ain't shit. Okay, this is like yeah, you know, in one ear out the other whatever you think you have enough money or the lawyers you think you can threaten me by taking my kid away from me no you got something coming to you so i'm seeing some of you maybe seeking some legal counseling here and from there um finding someone that's going to really be able to back you guys up and support everybody like in the situation and see what's the best decision for the children alone so this is more like a a a, a love situation from a past relationship okay now this card yeah it's wheel of fortune it's supposed to be traveling money you have your your wish granted well upside down sometimes it's you know what you're not going to get everything that you're asking for but just ask for one thing um the first and main thing is you know what my kids and their health and their peace of mind and that this does not fuck them up for the future because if not, y'all gonna be paying for a lot of therapy. So watch what you say in front of your children. Watch what your your children say like in front of their friends about you. Watch what you know your husband or ex husband or ex wife or whatever ex partner says to you about the children and what they're thinking about you. Because someone may try to manipulate you and tell you, oh, well, you know, little Tommy said he wasn't happy staying with you. And then you're like, shit, what did I do? Little Tommy's mad at me or little Tommy doesn't want to come up my house. It can just be bullshit. So you need to get to the horse. You get to, you need to get to the direct source, you know, get to the horse's mouth quickly and find out what this is really about. And, you know, ask, talk to your kid directly. If they're too young to speak, well, you know what? Then, you know, automatically you have, you have the right. You have the right to your child if this child cannot, you know, enunciate or, 
you know, express sentences or whatnot. You know, like, it's it's too small. Um, the baby would be too small. But I am seeing here, like, eventually, as the kid gets older and bigger, it starts talking, communicating. Let them decide, hey, if I want to see you or if I don't want to see you. Um, and, you know, respect their decision. And then if you have to keep, even if they don't want to see you, you still have to keep some type of a relationship with your child. But just try to keep warming up to the kid, okay? I'm seeing here, like, you'll be able to do that. And I'm seeing that you're going to also be in a new relationship. It's going to be, it may be already... It may already have started. You may be already married. I don't see in the cards because I usually pull love for singles or just love in general. So now I'm seeing here like this could be maybe somebody that's married and maybe they're having issues with an ex. Okay. Um, the mother of their kids, father of their kids, whatnot like that. Okay. And it looks like the father might be saying, hey, I want to take the kids away. The mother might say, oh, you can't see these kids. You know, they're not yours or something. You know what? Get to the bottom of it. Do your research. You know, find some legal um, advice or counseling. And, you know, start preparing yourself for a big fight or a battle when it comes to your kids. And I'm seeing whoever you're with at the time, if you're dating or you met somebody or you're married, they're going to be super supportive, okay? They're going to be very supportive and they're going to be like, yeah, I'm not going to let you just let this person take your child away from you. So I'm seeing here a lot of support from this person. And I'm also seeing here a lot of love. So I'm seeing that you're going to be like, damn, this person was there for me. They were like, you know, helping me out. Maybe they helped me out with some money or they supported me emotionally, whatever. They were there. They, they held me up. And you're like, I am so grateful for them. And now you might start seeing this person, if it's a friend or a relationship, you're going to appreciate the relationship. You're going to appreciate the love. You're going to appreciate everything, everything, Aquarius. You're going to appreciate the whole thing because they were there for you and they stuck by you and they didn't turn their back on you. And that's what true love really is. I mean, in my opinion, but, you know, it's part of it, you know, it's not the only thing, but it's definitely part of it. You know, you got to have your partner's back. Some people don't know how to be loyal anymore. I don't know. I don't know why. But loyalty is very important to me. And I think it should be important to anyone who's in a relationship or married or, you know, um, in a friendship. Like, you should remain loyal to your friends. Remain loyal to your family. Remain loyal to your partner. All right, let's check out. So, okay, so some of you are probably like, look, I'm single. I'm not in a relationship. I came here to hear about my love situation. Well, the love situation, maybe you don't have kids. Maybe you're not dealing with baby mom or dad, you know, baby daddy or baby mama drama type of stuff. But you are having some type of issues maybe around your home or maybe around your workforce or maybe even in the education field because some of you are in school and I'm seeing that you might be having problems with something about your grades or something here with a paper or something like that. So, you know, this person could be a classmate, could be a friend. It could even be a male friend for a male or a female friend for a female. It doesn't mean that it's gay or bisexual or queer. It just means, like, you know, you might be seeing, like, man, this person has been there for me. I feel so appreciative of them. They've been there. They've had my back. And I want to say, hey, thank you. So it could be a gesture, a friendly one, a romantic one, you know, or it can be, um, you know, you and... Um, you know, showing gratitude to a family member. So it could be something towards your family too. But I am seeing for those who are single and don't have this drama, you're going to feel this appreciation about the friend that you do have that is around you or the person that you may or may be talking to or crushing on or whatnot. And they've been supportive, but they've been friendly and, you know, they've been there for you. And then I'm seeing here with Aquarius when it comes to love. And then now I'm going to just do some singles. Wow. Wow. You're going to have two suitors coming for you, okay? One's going to be a light-complected male, one's going to be a darker-complected male. I know it's totally the opposite, but there's no in-between, okay? There's no gray in this card or in these cards. There's no salt and pepper. There's no, like, light or beige. There's going to be a very white, light-complected male or female or a very um, brown, tan skin, uh, dark skin, male or female here. And you're gonna they're both gonna be interested in you around the same time and you're gonna be like, I don't know which one I wanna go for. Well it says here to avoid any conflict or to avoid maybe any um heartache Keep moving forward and keep filling up your basket with different suitors. If you're single, keep talking to people because these two may not even be anything that's going to be significant, but it is going to, they're going to come around the same time. And you're going to be conflicted. And then I'm seeing here after that, um, you are going to meet more people. And it says here, just don't give, don't give your heart to anybody right now. You've been hurt before. And I mean, everybody has been right, but this is cards like, look, you're still healing a little bit. Date, have fun. 
just see what's out there. Okay. And give yourself some time and maybe regroup. And then, you know, when this starts, you know, like when these swords start falling out of your heart and you start healing from your past relationship, then you can move on to the next. Okay. Hope I've helped. Um, leave me a message or a comment below. I'll reply as soon as I can. Just give me some time to figure this out and I will be at a much smoother and maybe um, slower pace. Thank you guys.